Hey guys, so I am starting out with the Models Own Primer. This one is like a gel kind of mattifying primer. So I spread that on my skin and then I used one of my all-time favorite drugstore foundations. It is literally amazing. It's the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation, I think it's called. And I'm using a Sigma F80 to blend it out. So as you can see, it comes in like a super huge doe foot applicator. I don't love the packaging, but you know, what can you do? The foundation itself is amazing. I always add a second layer, as you can see me doing right here, just for a little bit extra coverage, because you guys know I'm a full coverage girl. But oh my god, I love this foundation. And then to cream contour, I'm using the Model Co. Uh, contour Stick. And I'm just kind of drawing this all over my face in the areas where I want to be nice and chiseled. And then I'm taking the Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki Brush to buff out the face areas. And for my nose, I took the 3D HD Precision Brush and sort of buffed it out and then just blended everything with my foundation brush. Moving on to brows, I'm using the Chi Chi Brow Pomade. Mine is like worse for wear. It is so used. Mine is in the shade Todd. I actually love this brow pomade for an affordable pomade. Like, it's pretty much just as good as most of my high-end ones. So I'm using a Sigma E75 just to pretty much shape my entire eyebrows because you guys know I'm bald. And then I went in with the Maybelline Brow Little Palette and I just used the powder just to set down my pomade. And then I went in with the Model Co More Brows in the shade light to medium I think and just added this in it's like the dupe for gimme brow then to start out with the eyes I'm priming them using the LA girl pro conceal concealer in light ivory um, I think that's the shade it's in it'll be listed down below so I just applied it to my lids and blended it out using the Sigma tapered kabuki which is the F86 then I dipped into my Makeup Geek palette and I used Peach Smoothie on a Real Techniques BO4 brush. I just buffed this into the crease and then I went in with some of my Rainbow Tape from Kmart and I added that to the corners of my eyes so that I had a nice crisp line. Then I took the shade Petal Pusher and I am buffing that through the crease again. It's much more of a purpley cool tone shade. It's really, really beautiful actually. And then going in to the shade Mocha, I am using a MAC 217 just to kind of start buffing this into the outer corner and then bring it in through the crease. So yeah, just slowly working it up. And then I took the shade Americano, which is another sort of cool toned brown, but much deeper than Mocha. And I just did the same thing, really packed it on in the outer corner and blended it through the crease. Then I took the shade Corrupt on the same brush and I just added some of that into the outer corners. And then I, I went in with my BO4 just once again to blend the edges. And then I decided to add a little bit more of Petal Pusher just because I wanted to keep that purple look going. And then I just went back in with my 217 and just blended out the edges and kind of made sure the black was still Poppin. Then I took the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes palette and I used this taupey purple shade all over my lid just with my finger. So gorgeous. And then I just once again blended with my BO4. Then I took a little bit more of the black shade called Corrupt on my 217 and added it to the outer corners just to make sure it was nice and smoky. And then I started out with this model's own eyeliner and I was so unimpressed. Like literally, it crumbled. It it was just it was literally crumbling as I was applying it. So I did apply it to both eyes because I needed it to be even. And then I let it dry while I popped some Rimmel, Rimmel eyeliner in my tight line. And then I took my trusty Models Prefer Cement the Jade liquid liner and just sort of went over it and perfected it, which I just found out they don't actually sell this anymore. So I'm so sorry. I need to find a new drugstore one that I love. Then I removed the tape and popped some mascara on. This is the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid collab mascara. It's pretty nice, like nothing overly special, but I do like it. And for lashes, I use the Ardell Glamour Wispies, which are some of my favorites. 
Oh, I really do love these. So I just plonked them onto my eyes. Then moving on to the face, I am concealing again with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm sure it's the shade Light Ivory, but it will be linked down below as I said before. So I applied it underneath my eyes and then I applied some all down the center of my face and wherever I wanted to highlight. And I blended everything out using a Sigma F79 concealer kind of brush. Then I just went back in with my F80 and made sure that all the edges were seamless and blended. Then I took this whipped souffle stuff from NYX. I'll have the name of it listed down below, but it's so nice. Oh, I love it. It's in the shade Coral Sickle. Um, so I just used a Sigma F55 Duo Fiber Brush to blend it out, but yeah, I really liked it. Then to set my concealed areas, I used the Models Prefer Powder Contour and Highlight Kit. And I used the banana shade and just pretty much pressed it into my skin wherever I concealed and popped a bit underneath my contour. And then I took the contour shade on the far left and used an F05 just to kind of chisel out my cheekbones and bronze up around my hairline, my temples, under my jawline, under my bottom lip and all of that jazz. Then for a little bit of a blush topper, I just took this shade from the Models Own Sculpt and Glow palette and then I used the Models Own highlighter in the shade Golden Sand, I believe it's called. Oh my god, look at this highlight. Like, actually look at it. It is blinding. It's so, 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 so pretty. I did actually, after I applied it to all of the high points of my face, I went back in with my foundation brush to make sure it wasn't too, too intense. Moving back onto the eyes, I am taking Petal Pusher once again with my BO4 brush from Real Techniques and I'm just buffing this messily under the lower lash line. Then I mixed Mocha and Americano together and I just buffed this underneath the lash line, kind of trying to match it up to the outer corner of the upper lash line. Then I took the shade Corrupt on an E20 and just made sure everything sort of blended seamlessly together and flowed nicely. Then I mixed those two shades from the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes palette and I just started mixing them and plonking them under my eyes and then I took that lighter pinky shade and sort of placed it more towards the inner corner of the eyes and then I took the bright white highlight and highlighted my inner corners and sort of blended it up into that foiled shadow on my eyelids which I love. I love this palette. Then I took a nude liner from Rimmel, which it was kind of pointless. My eyes started watering for some reason, so it pretty much went away. But I did line them with this nude liner from Rimmel. And then I did cover up my lash band with my Models Prefer liquid liner. Again, just to make sure everything was flowy flowy. I coated my lower lashes with some more mascara and then for lips I lined them with the model's own lip liner in the shade Naked. I do really like this shade actually. And then to fill them in I used two of the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I used Mocha, I think this one's called Mocha. So I applied it to my whole entire lips and then I took this lighter nudie brown shade, I think it's called Latte To Go and I applied it to the very center of my lips and then I sort of just patted it out with my finger just to make sure it was nice and blended as an ombre lip. And that completes the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed the drugstore slash affordable tutorial and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Ben? Uh, doesn't really matter. <laughs> you both wish for the same thing.